Wow. Okay. <laughs> that sound effect was out loud. <laughs> Hi there. This is Alan Voivod, one half of the content lovers of Epiphany Zinc. This is one of the aha sheets from Allie Brown's online success blueprint workshop that I've scribbled uh, my top three takeaways from day two of the workshop. And uh, I don't expect you to be able to read this. Lonnie can't read it, and I can barely read it myself, but hey, you know, that's what we do. Um, top takeaway number one uh, is something that Bob. Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the having, Leeds King. The Leeds King. Leedsking.com. He. We're having a lot of trouble with his name, and I guess if, you know. We That's might why. Have, he's the Leeds King. Yeah, exactly. Much easier. <laughs> um, made a comment to the effect that the marketer with more assets at his disposal will be more successful over the long haul. The idea being that instead of just collecting names and email on opt-in pages and squeeze pages now that it's worth collecting more information and finding more ways to um, give people reasons to give you additional information like their phone numbers and their mailing addresses. And especially in times like these, the more, um, the more opportunities and the more ways that you have to be able to stay in touch with your prospects and clients, the better off you'll be. What's one way you can do that, Ellen? Well, <laughs> you, there are uh, apparently automated phone calling systems where if you have somebody's phone number, you can record a message and yeah. press a button or three and blast it out to everybody in your database whose phone number you have. But you have to offer them something very valuable for them to exchange that more personal information. Exactly. And so another strategy, which is kind of related, is to say, well, if they're going to give you a name and an email address for a digital product that if you had a free CD that you wanted to either a say give away or B ask for uh, for you know for a person to pay for the shipping cost and you could get not only uh, mailing address information but also potentially credit card information as well which makes it easier to set up things like continuity programs where um, you make them an offer that would end up you know being a uh, monthly charge on their credit card bill anyway so that's takeaway number one. Uh, takeaway number two is asking a question with an opt-in box. Now, for those of you who don't know, an opt-in box is a little box, and if you go to uh, epiphaniesinc.com, you'll see um, on every page of our website except the blog, uh, and hopefully that'll be changing soon. Uh, a little box that um, says for signing up for our e-zine. Yes. It's a name and an email address, and that's an opt-in box, and it's a way for you to get our e-zine, the insider. And what uh, is not there, which is something that I saw um, in examples at the boot camp here, is having a little thing that says, uh, what is your most important question surrounding uh, you know, X topic and X topic being whatever your business is, whatever your website is, or whatever problems you address or handle, ask a question while you're at it because that's market research right there that you can do and the answers you get are coming from your prospects and clients' own words that they use so you know better how to speak to them about the issues that they have and, and you can better address a, a more effective way to solve them in a way that would actually get them to trust you, to like you, and to want to buy from you. Okay, third takeaway is a reminder of something, and that is to pick up the phone. Uh, we we hear it every so often, and I know I'm guilty of this, of, of relying on email so much that you kind of hide behind it a little bit. Like, that's something that I do, or it just, it seems easier for me sometimes to just shoot off an email, because it's like, okay, you know, now I can say I've communicated with somebody. But you know, in this age of having, you know, all these different electronic ways to communicate with each other, there is something really more powerful to be gained by uh, picking up the phone. And so if you have the opportunity to make a, a live um, vocal or in-person connection with one of your prospects, clients, vendors, partners, what have you, rather than um, type out an email the next time that you need to get in touch with somebody, try picking up the phone instead. And those are my top three takeaways from day two of the Online Success Blueprint Workshop. Uh, check out our blog at ahayourself.com and scroll down on the uh, sidebar and you'll find our socialized links so you can hook up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and other social networking sites. Thanks for listening.